Welcome! In this video, we show how to programmatically communicate with Packard Vision. Packard Vision has an HTTP API. HTTP is a protocol through which programs can communicate. The communication is usually established between programs running on different PCs through network, but can be established between programs running on the same PC too. HTTP is widely used protocol, so all programming languages contain support for HTTP communication. And there are many tools for manual testing of HTTP APIs too. So, let's try it out. We have opened the project which we created in previous videos. The project for recognizing nodes on wood. We have some testing images. And we are on Linux now, so we can use the famous Linux tool called curl and call the HTTP API. So we write curl-x post, which means we want to use the HTTP post method. We select the file, which is one of the testing images, and tell the curl the address where we want to send the request. This is the address where the current project is running. So we copy paste it and add slash analyze image, which is the name of the endpoint, and press enter. And here came the response. This is the context in the JSON format. We call the endpoint once again and add indentation so the JSON becomes more readable. And here we are. In the response we see description of two detected objects. Their coordinates, size and recognized classes. And how does the image look like in Packard Vision? Let's have a look. Indeed, there are two nodes in the image. Both are encased. Now we do the same from programming language Python. These three lines of code do that. Again, we see the result and we can compare it with the result image in Packard Vision. Now we run a slightly modified version of this code. Instead of sending content of JPEG file, we continuously send images from a running camera. We accomplish this with Python and OpenCV library. And as a last example with Python, we modify the code slightly again. Instead of encoding the images from camera into JPEG format, we send directly raw uncompressed images to an endpoint which accepts raw data. Because the data are raw, this means just array of bytes, we need to additionally tell the width and height of the images. Good. We demonstrate now one more example how to test the endpoint of Packard Vision. This is the easiest approach. We open Google Chrome and install plugin called Advanced REST Client. This plugin is for testing HTTP endpoints. We specify the request URL. We set type of body as multi-part form data and we choose testing file. And we can trigger it. Here is the response, the context with information about recognized objects. We can compare it again with the image in Packard Vision. And we see that indeed there are two detected objects, two nodes, which are both encased. To wrap it up, we demonstrated some tools and ways how to call the Packard Vision HTTP API and how to retrieve the response. Thank you for watching.